Study of wheat. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define and describe the importance of wheat, demonstrate the origin and distribution of wheat, describe the soil and climatic requirements for wheat cultivation, explain the cultivation practices of wheat. Mumbai, one of the major cities in India, is situated near the seashore of Arabian Sea. It is a busy city with hustling bustling roads, round the clock and is very famous for different variety of foods. Rohit, who lives in Sri Lanka, plans to visit Mumbai this summer. He reaches Mumbai. One morning, he walks along the streets of Mumbai. He notices people eating similar kind of food variety on the street side hotels. As he is inquisitive by nature, he gets into a brief discussion with the people to know what it is. Later, he comes to know that people include this particular food variety in their daily food routine and this is being practiced for several generations. And they believe that eating this type of food helps them to stay strong and healthy. From this, he learns that this particular food variety is the all-time favorite for Mumbaites. Apart from Mumbai, this food variety is famous all over India and many other regions around the world. You should have guessed what it is by now. Yes, it is nothing but chapati alias roti, which is made from wheat. Like chapatis, we have several dishes made from wheat and it is considered as the second most produced crop in the world. It is important to know about the origin, distribution and harvesting of wheat. Let us discuss about all of them in detail. Wheat is a cereal grain and is a member of the grass family. It provides more nourishment for the people worldwide than any other food. The scientific name for wheat is Triticum astivum. Let us discuss the importance of wheat. It is said that wheat is the most important and strategic cereal crop for the majority of the world's population. Nearly 2 billion people around the world consider wheat as the most important staple food. Wheat provides nearly 55% of the carbohydrates and 20% of the food calories consumed globally. It is cultivated over a wide range of climatic conditions and therefore understanding its genetics is of great value for plant breeding purposes. Wheat belongs to the family Poesi, which includes major crop plants such as wheat, barley, maize, rice, etc. Now, let us discuss the origin and distribution of wheat. Wheat is grown in majority of the agricultural lands than any other field crops worldwide. It is well adapted to different kinds of environments, but it grows best at intermediate temperatures. It is believed that wheat originated in southwestern Asia. Some of the earliest remains of the crop have been found in Syria and Turkey. Primitive relatives of present-day wheat have been discovered in some of the oldest excavations of the world in eastern Iraq, which dates back to 9000 years. And few other archaeological findings show that bread wheat was grown in the Nile Valley around 5000 BC as well as in India and China. Therefore, wheat grain has been used as a vital component of the daily food by the people for thousands of years. Now, let us discuss about the soil and climatic requirements for wheat cultivation. Wheat is grown in different types of soils ranging from desert soil to heavy clay soil. Well-drained, fertile clay loam soils having moderate water holding capacity is ideal for irrigating wheat. Heavy soil with open structure can retain the monsoon rainfall for a longer period and is ideal for the dry wheat crop. 
Some of the climatic requirements of wheat are, it has been said that hot and humid climate is harmful to wheat because it encourages the infestation of diseases such as rust, root rot, etc. It needs cool, dry and clear climate for better growth and yield. The optimum temperature range for growth is between 70 degree Fahrenheit and 75 degree Fahrenheit. The rainfall requirement is 750 to 1600 millimeters per year. Now, let us discuss on the cultivation practices of wheat. Land preparation. The wheat crop requires a well pulverized but compact seed bed for good and uniform germination. One deep ploughing with soil turning plough followed by two harrowings and planking is desirable. To protect the crop from termites, particularly in the rainfed area, treatment is suggested with chlorpurifos 20 EC at 700 milliliters per 100 kilograms of seed by mixing it in 5 liters of water and spraying over the seed. Sowing Best sowing time for wheat plantation is from November to December. There may be slight variations for each region. To reduce late sowing losses, seeds can be soaked in water overnight before sowing. Fertilizer application The fertilizer application should normally be carried out on the basis of the results of the soil testing. After the soil testing, the fertilizer requirement is calculated and applied through NPK method, while the secondary nutrients and micronutrients can be applied based upon the status of the soil. NPK method It is a method describing the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium present in the fertilizer. Here, nitrogen is required for leaf growth, phosphorus for root formation and stem growth, and potassium for plant immunity. For timely sowing, the nitrogen requirement is about 120 to 150 kilograms per hectare and the phosphorus requirement is around 40 to 60 kilograms per hectare. For late sowing, the nitrogen requirement is 80 to 100 kilograms per hectare and the phosphorus requirement is 40 to 60 kilograms per hectare. In both the cases, the potassium requirement is applicable based on the soil test. However, under rain-fed conditions, the nitrogen requirement is 40 to 50 kilograms per hectare and the phosphorus requirement is about 25 kilograms per hectare. Secondary nutrients and micronutrients Sulfur and zinc fall under the category of secondary and micronutrients. Sulfur. In some wheat growing areas, particularly where rice to wheat crop rotation is continuously undertaken, deficiency of sulfur becomes an issue. Sulfur deficiency of wheat crop is reduced by spraying sulfur based fertilizers. Zinc. Among micronutrients, zinc is the most common nutrient of Indian soil, particularly those managed under rice to wheat cropping system. Zinc deficiency of wheat crop is reduced by spraying zinc sulphate. Harvesting of wheat The wheat crop is harvested after the crop straw becomes dry, brittle and when the wheat grains harden. The harvesting season time varies from zone to zone. Compared to the irrigated areas, rain-fed crops reach the harvesting state much earlier. Wheat yield. Wheat yield depends on the variety and cultivation methods. The wheat yield can be increased by adding nitrogen and gypsum to the fields. Intensification of the wheat system can be brought about by sowing seeds on time and growing the vegetable pea as a rotation. Summary. Well, that has been an interesting lesson in the study of wheat. Let us do a recall of what we have studied so far. Wheat is a cereal grain that is the most important and strategic cereal crop 
for majority of the world's population it is grown in majority of the agricultural lands than any other field crop worldwide it is well adapted to different kinds of environments wheat is grown in different types of soil ranging from desert soil to heavy clay soil 